Hi, my name's Sarah Shulman, and I'm a pediatrician who lives outside of Boston in Concord, Massachusetts. I have an important message today, and one that I'm sure that you've also heard before, but this does not make it any less important. I'm here to tell you that by finding your true purpose and then acting upon that purpose, you too can live a life filled with miracles, a life that works in ways that you could never imagine. So it's imperative that we all begin to live on purpose so that we can make positive shifts in this world. I wanted to share my story that reflects how this idea has lived in me. For the longest time, I've been struggling with uh, disillusionment and disdain for my profession. I am a pediatrician who works in a neonatal intensive care unit at a Boston Harvard teaching hospital. And I've always known that there was something missing in my professional life, that something was wrong. And living like this has taken a total toll on my spirit and on my body and on my life and my family. So after immersing myself in lots and lots of Hay House books, I decided to start a nine month course in shamanism. Divine intervention was introducing me to another way. So one of the uh, techniques that you learn in shamanism is something called a journey. And a journey is where you're guided by a partner or a shaman into this hypnotic state. And in this state, you're supposed to meet someone who gives you something. So I tried this for the nine month course and was always the one in the talking circle at the end of the class who had to admit that I just couldn't go there. Talk about disparate worlds. I trained for 15 years in the medical establishment that believed that if it wasn't supported by a double blind study, it wasn't worth even thinking about. So by the end of the training medical school, you don this white coat and you become a doctor and I felt that I had half a heart and half a soul and a whole lot of dogma. And now I was in this shamanic class being exposed to shamanism, a practice that's steeped in spirituality and insight and intuition. So it was my last month of the course, and it was actually the last class, and we were once again practicing a journey. And I remember just lying there and finally letting go and allowing myself to completely immerse in the experience. And without a doubt, I met St. Mary. And she gave me two babies, and she also gave me this intricately carved wooden box, and in the box was a candle, a mending scissors, and a needle and a thread. So I woke up from this dream in tears, trying to fathom what had just transpired. The shocking thing was that I grew up Jewish. I didn't really even know who St. Mary was, and until that moment, really never had any kind of spiritual belief system. In fact, I thought I was an atheist. But what I knew at that moment was that I had just gotten a message that spoke to me, and that has changed my life forever. So three months later, I'm being called into my leadership office for some unknown reason. There had been rumors of layoffs, and so I was nervous. And um, since I had had that journey, I started having these visions of what true health and a healing system could look like. And so the night before the meeting, I you know, called upon my friend advisors and my husband and asked you know, what they thought about this idea of bringing a proposal to the meeting. And I got from a number of people that they thought it would be fruitless at a Harvard teaching hospital, that it was just not worth my time, that I should go to bed and get a good night's sleep. But instead, I listened to that little voice in my head, and I stayed up all night preparing a 10-page document about the importance of self-care and prevention of burnout and establishing true health in a broken system. 
So I showed up to the meeting with a proposal in hand and I screwed up the courage to present my idea to, of this resiliency project that was completely founded in the fact that the healthcare system is broken. And then by introducing techniques of grounding and connecting and self-care and meditation that we could radically change things while healing the system. So I believe that it was my conviction, coupled with divine intervention, that convinced my leadership to pay me for this work. And since June, I now am the Resiliency Project Director. I'm making an impact every day. So what started as an idea that was supported by a belief in myself became a reality. And I tell you this story because I so believe now more than ever that we need to connect to our deepest self, our inner pilot light. And when we do, we open up our true potential. And it is from this place that I feel we can make impacting changes in this world. I know you too can find your purpose and live a spectacular life. So I invite you to find your purpose. You can find a shamanic journey on YouTube and practice every day. You can practice meditation. You can walk in the woods, in nature, and always with the intention of finding your purpose. Asking out loud to yourself, what is my purpose in life? And then the most important part, you have to listen. And you have to listen very carefully to what the voice is telling you. Once you've found it, I'll meet you with your candle shedding light on the world.